Hello guys, this is a review of the movie Wild Reeds. This is a French coming-of-age film which takes place amidst the Algerian war. It follows the story of Francois, Serge, Henry, and Maite. I don't speak French, I'm sorry, I'm trying my best, let's just call him Serge. Um, this is a beautiful film. I got a chance to watch it last night and I'm sure it touched me so, so deep in my heart that I'm going to remember it forever and I'm going to for sure rewatch it many times. It mainly follows the story of Francois. He is referred to as a soft boy. He is about to graduate high school like the other um, protagonists are. And he's struggling with his sexuality. So here's what's interesting about this. The movie's in French, logically, and it has subtitles in English, but I was having trouble reading um, as fast as they were speaking and also, you know, simultaneously enjoying the movie itself. So I missed some parts. For some reason, I ended up thinking that Francois was in a romantic relationship with Maite, which in a sense, they, they're in a platonic relationship. But Maite is not interested in boys. She mentions it time and time and time again, which was something that was a bit conflicting story-wise with, you know, what I was watching. I was like, well, but why is she so sad on being with him? Well, everything starts normal. They attend a wedding. It's, um, I believe, Serge, Serge's brother's <laughs> wedding. And... Gosh, I'm so confused. It's because so many things happened. I promise you I paid attention and I loved every minute of it, but it's just a lot of information. So a lot of things going on, like I said. Francois attends a boarding school. There he befriends Serge, who, or Serge. I keep like, it's so hard for me to pronounce it. So Serge goes over to his room and he's like, hey, you know, you want to go smoke? You want to do something bad? You live for once in your life? And Francois is like, no. Um, and then like, well, who are you anyway? Over, I guess, the span of two days, they end up engaging in a sexual act. At first, I thought it was just going to be masturbation. And I kid you not. I was like, have you seen the scene in um, the Chucky series where Chucky kills Junior's mom and like throws her out the window? He's like, that was me throughout the movie. I, I kid you not, probably like three times. I was shocked. I, I, and it's crazy, you know, because of all the, the stimuli that we're exposed to nowadays, all the violence, all the gore. But this movie, which came out in 1994, if I'm not mistaken, it rocked me. I was like, what's going on? Why so fast? Why didn't they talk about it? Um, Francois shares space with, I'm not sure if, if actually it's um, Francois, but anyway, one of the guys shares a room with Henry and Henry is on the wrong side of town, so to speak. So he supports what the other people are not supporting war-wise. Obviously, we know as with any war, there's a lot of loss, a lot of hate towards one another, when in reality, it's just the impotence. I feel like that's the main thing. And they're all trying to discover themselves as people, as um, young adults, amidst all of this, which creates so much tension. Anyway, for Francois, that sexual interaction with um, Serge meant the world. And he was like, gosh, when is it going to happen again? He kept thinking about it. He goes to the, the restroom and tells himself in front of the mirror the F word, the derogatory gay F word. So we're just going to call it, I don't know, idiot for the time being. He's like, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. And it resonated so much with me, so, so, so much. It's it's crazy to even imagine, because obviously it, the movie is supposed to take place in, sometime in the 60s, right? And to think back to that time, even for someone like myself, thinking back to the 90s is already crazy, and wow, I couldn't fathom this and that. So to put myself in Francois' shoes, it's something that I feel almost... 
I don't know if I would have had the guts to even live another day after what he experienced, but the way that he takes it, it is a bit more natural, which I like. I like that they show his awareness to to society's expectations and religion, and he he acknowledges how he's different, but not to the point where he's like, oh my gosh, woe is me, there's no way that I can make it through life like this, you know? So I like that. Anyway, for Sech, it was more like a, a trying out type of thing, one like curiosity, and you know, a lot of people experiment and stuff, so it didn't mean that much. I guess on a sentimental level, he did want to befriend Francois and they ended up becoming friends, even though there, there's like a lot of back and forth, a lot of pressure because his brother ends up getting killed at war. And the teacher that he asked for help didn't help him. And the teacher ends up going to like a, a retreat to, to recuperate because of the guilt that she feels for not being able to help him or not wanting to help him. She's actually Maite's mother. Sorry, I don't know if you were able to hear all of that. But anyway, yeah, Maite's mom is a teacher and her husband left them for another woman. So she carries that trauma. All in all, all the characters have their own story going on of childhood trauma, a lot of present trauma and they're doing their best and they're being so amazing something that i really like from certain movies such as this one is when you have young adults high school students or characters that are supposed to be that age but that behave with maturity you know they have intent with with their actions but at the same time they still hold that childhood innocence but it's i guess i'm relating it to to my life right now because i uh, sometimes I, I struggle with um gosh i don't want to be unprofessional but you know with um the work environment because people i feel are accustomed to just ride the wave see where it takes you and sometimes I mean, that's a beautiful way of thinking when you glamorize it and you have an idealist mind. But when you apply for a job, a traditional, very normal job, you are committing yourself, you know, to complete those tasks that are expected of you. And should you have any problem with pay, with the duties, you mentioned them beforehand or you look for something else. That's why we're um, very lucky to live in the United States, at least I am, where we have options. And it's not always easy, but um, I really admire that they are, you know, said that they feel like they're going to do things. They move towards it. They're kind of stubborn. But I feel like that drive, I wish we could have a sequel, you know, see where where life um, took them or where they took themselves, making, you know, reference to that drive that they have. At one point... Um, after Francois confesses it to Maite, literally, I was so shocked. They were like at a, at a party, um, unwillingly ended up at a classmate's party. And <laughs> immediately after he quote unquote came out to her, because he was like, you know, I do actually, I did like what, what happened or something like that. She's like, oh, she, she's a little bit upset, but not like, I, I'd say even more surprised and upset. And immediately after, like, one of the Beach Boy songs comes out and, like, it, they just start dancing and having fun. I'm like, this is what life is about, you know? People that get it, people that feel it. And then at another point, she calls them the F word. And and he's like, after she cools down a, little, a bit, he's like, you, you said that I was just this. And she's like, oh, because I was mad uh, because of all the things that are happening. But take like the guy at the shoe store for example he's been living with his partner and they've been happy for many years so what francois does is he actually goes over to the and that's basically what the movie's about and i'm gonna focus on on specific things and my own personal thoughts as if i haven't spoken enough he goes over to the shoe shop and 
tells the 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 gentleman working there who's actually helping um a woman at the time find the right shoe for her say like, can he talk to you for a second it's about something other than you know shoes he's like sure and he opens up he tells him everything from the beginning he's like you know i experimented i liked it and then now i just like another person happens to be another male so i guess this is what i am and being that you're queer as well i just thought that you could give me some advice on like what did you do what do you recommend what should i do should i go for it what how do i you know navigate this new thing that i'm experiencing and he's quiet for the most part of the the man and and then he just says you know it happened so long ago i just wouldn't know what what to tell you i'm sorry and francois leaves which um it takes guts to do that i i'm always very very shocked um when i hear coming out stories when it's very difficult when they feel like there's just no way to go about it but they end up you know talking to the right person sometimes even the wrong person but at least you know they took a step towards it and to live their truth and the way francois handles it is just so beautiful so innocent so like but at the same time like i mentioned that drive that punch like he has guts he goes for it he does things which i love and i resonate so much with the movie was just the only thing that i could say is that the quality was awful i had to adjust the the um picture frame because it was just very off and i i have other movies that are even older than this but i guess maybe they um upgraded them or something but it's still a gem it's still beautiful the guy um Serge, the or the actor he reminds me of Rocco reed and I say this in the most respectful way because he's now like a very religious person and wants his past to be his past. But he was um, an adult star in the gay um, scene. He kind of reminds me of a young Rocco Reed. Um, anyway, um, I I enjoy this movie for a lot of reasons. It's beautiful. Um, the scenery is beautiful. Maite, the actress that plays her, is fantastic does the whole you know understanding friend so well and in the end even after like i mentioned in the beginning she kept saying i'm not interested in boys i have bigger problems right now she ends up hooking up with henry henry of all people they're like the opposites and as the saying goes they attract at one point there's also um the teacher that tries to help henry pass because he's an older kid he's like 21 and he mentions well he he brings up a poem which i'm gonna try and put on on the screen so that you all can see it or at least reference it beautiful beautiful stuff like i said francois was responsible for reading it and he read it so fast and i didn't want to pause it because i didn't want to kill the, the feeling that i had watching the movie at one point i think while he's talking to the shoe guy francois like I hang on to those brief moments that I've got got into experience. I hang on to them. Like when I was riding in the back of the motorcycle with, with Serge, I was holding on to him and I just feeling that and being there entirely. Um, there's a scene where he goes over to Henry while Henry's sleeping and tries to put his hand over him and he notices, Henry realizes, turns around and is like, hey, you wanna suck it, suck it. And <laughs> the front was like, no, no, I, I don't know what, what excuse he, he brings up. And that's something that Henry brings up to him. He's like, you're a coward. You don't stand up for, for what you want. You don't follow your needs. Like life is short, we're gonna die. And you're here like oscillating between, no, should I just, just go for it? Not even just words that came out of Francois's mouth or or might there's like everybody had words of wisdom and the way that he applied those um recommendations because francois was given advice by many people even though they have mistakes of their own but i feel like community you know society we come together we help each other out there's just so many qualities about this film that make it what it is for me so beautiful the music is fantastic I, like I said, I was in shock for so many scenes. It's just beautiful when Maite has um, sex with 
Henry, I was like, girl, you're out here. Because she was like, well, I think she was saying that she looked like um, the sunflower was a second example. I don't remember, but I think she's like some bird. <laughs> because she was, she bought a yellow swimsuit. It's like, girl, you were worried about that like not 10 seconds ago. And now you're out here getting naked in front of him. But it's beautiful. It has it, its moments of of sincerity that so many new movies lack. And I mention it time and time again. This is, as I was watching, I just kept thinking to myself, you know what, Alberto, this is why you buy DVDs. This is why you go for the old ones every once in a while. This is why you're an avid um, film watcher, why this means so much to you. Because it's movies like these that help reshape me, that fuel me, that give me advice, that um, give me a hug when I need it. They're my comfort blanket. There are so many things. And this is one of them. I felt like the creator of the film understood what it's like. Like we share something. And I feel like the cast knew it, the people involved knew it, and we just saw share that moment. <laughs> now they're in their 50s. But it's still, um, I don't know, it's familiar. That's the word that I'm, I'm trying to find. It's so familiar to me. So beautiful. I can't wait to recommend it to people who I feel like deserve it in real life. Because, I mean, this is real life, but um, I don't know. I could be talking to somebody in Egypt or somebody in Costa Rica could be watching. I don't know. But I def and I feel like if you went out of your way to look for a movie review for something this um this classic, then you also deserve it. But I mean in real life I try to when I find really, really good films. There's another like complaint for movies like Ben X, for example, that I reviewed or Suicide Room that I also reviewed. There's this complaint like they don't get the recognition that they deserve, and it's true. They don't even get a little grain of sand of, of recognition. They deserve the world. <laughs> I mean, in terms of movies and this whole ranking system, which I don't even believe in awards because you can't measure art. It's so subjective. But what I'm trying to say is that it's undeniably good. Whether you like the genre or not, it's just some very high quality films. And I still love the fact that I get to be part of the few thousand people that have watched it and I know that this movie was successful in its own right but as the decades go by you know if they don't um upgrade it if they don't do this if they don't do that then a lot of the magic gets lost and new generations miss out on it but I still feel special in a way and very very lucky to have found this beautiful crystal of a movie um I love it. I feel, like I said, very fortunate. There's a million moments in the movie that I could reference. I wish I could, I could have the vocal power to talk and talk and talk um, in the memory to remember every single little detail. But trust me, it's like I said, it's in my heart and I'm definitely going to rewatch it. I recommend it to each and every one of you. Um, I'm that I actually, one of the actors, I forget which one came out in another movie that I watched called... Um, Three Dancing Slaves, which I'm also going to review in the future. I watched that one years ago, but yeah, it's a small world here in the film community. Not really, but you know what I'm saying. I give this movie a rating of 10 out of 10, of course, and definitely a must watch. I'm glad to be back. I hope to make reviews more often. And that's it for this one. Gosh, my heart is so full of joy. <laughs> Thank you for watching.